Hello, my name is Mark. I work for Ascent, a RAND worldwide company. In my job, I write training material for different CAD and PLN systems. Um, I'm here today to talk about uh, when dealing with CATIA in the 3D experience, uh, object colors can sometimes create issues uh, in which we're unable to see those objects because of the background color or because uh, they blend in with other features that are there. Uh, this often happens because an older version of the software was used to build the file. Uh, different background colors or different features might have been used uh, to color them. And then now when we're using it, this updated version of the 3D experience, uh, this happens to be 2022X, um, those colors no longer show up. Uh, there's a number of ways we can handle this issue. Uh, and I just kind of want to go through some of those um, and help people find where they're at. Uh, so let's take a look at this model. Currently you can see the tree over here on the left. I've got some things expanded and some things hidden. But when you look at the screen, you see nothing. Now I have a white background. Some of the default colors might be a bluish or a purple or some other color. Um, one of the issues I'm having is I have objects that have white lines. I don't know if you can see that, but as I go through and I click on them, now they'll turn blue. We can see those objects momentarily, but as soon as I select off of them, they disappear. Now, one way of dealing with that would be to grab one of those objects or all of them. We can right click and go to properties. And this happens to be a sketch. I can change the line and curves to be black. I can change the points to be black. Hit OK with that. And now it shows up in my white background. If I wanted to do that to all of them, I could highlight them all on the screen right click and go to properties and change them all that way but that'd be fairly tedious the other thing we could do is just change the background color if you don't want the white background we can right click and on the background itself go to ambiance and then come in here and choose a darker background so if i said blue design now the white lines and the uh, black lines both will show up for us in our display and we can work with them Okay, but what if we wanted to take screenshots with a white background and that just wouldn't work for us? Well, there's other techniques here. This happens to be a V5 model that was converted into a V6 um, 3D XML file, but was imported into the system. Now, when it was imported in, all the colors that were built in the old system came with it. Uh, they may have worked in V5, but we're just not seeing them the way we want to here. I'm going to go back to ambiance and go with my white background that I had. And one thing we can do is come up here to our uh, top of the tree here, our 3D representation, right click and come in here and go to um, properties. Now that's not just grabbing the sketches, it's grabbing everything within here and we can go to the colors tab. The default graphic property is standard V5. So even though it may have been customized within V5, the defaults that it's basing everything off of were based off of a V5 model. We can come in here and set it to uh, some customized settings. Uh, I'm going to come in here and choose the 3D Experience Black. And now when I hit OK, it's going to change the colors of that object. Now, I noticed that the sketches didn't change on me. Um, that may be because they have been customized prior to being specifically white. But a lot of things that were not customized, let's say these datum planes, for example, they're showing up in black. Now, I didn't do a very good job of showing you that they were white before, but let's go ahead and right click on this and go to properties. Go to V5, so I'm just taking it back to where it was. Those datum planes now disappear. Now the reason for that was the datum planes were never customized, so they never had their color changed. Uh, they're whatever the default color is, and the white default color doesn't show up here, but if we go in, generally if nothing was customized in the model and everything was default, this would be all you'd have to do. Right click, go to properties, set it to this black option and the datum planes and the sketches would have changed if they hadn't been customized already. So in this situation we have sketches that are not um, showing up because their properties have been customized. 
Um, if the I could come in and simply change them all to black, but again, that'd be fairly tedious. Another option is to go to the geometrical set that they're in, right click, go to whatever the name of it is object, and we can say reset properties. Now, it gives me the option here, reset graphical properties for the name of the geometrical set, apply to children. We'll leave that checked. And it sets them all back to the default values. Well, again, we set the default values to black, so now they show up for us fairly easily. Okay, now, another object that you may find helpful here is I have uh, a solid. Now, that one is showing up with the default representation. And I have another solid here, yep, both showing up with the default representations. Uh, it could be possible that some of these sub-elements, like this surface, if I went to properties and changed it to be orange, come in colored. Now, you can customize each one of those independently, but if you ever want to set everything back to the default colors that you're dealing with, here, instead of grabbing the geometrical set, I can grab the part body, right click, go to whatever the name of it is object, and say reset properties. Hit OK, and it sends it back to the default colors. I can hide my sketches, and we can see that it has uh, gone back to the gray, and we can see the sketches are just hidden. But this intersection is showing up as white. Now, if I right-click on it and went to Properties, I can see that it's been made to be white. I could right-click on this, go to whatever the name of it is object, and say Reset Properties. Now it comes in as black. Okay, so again, if you have someone has gone in and overridden the properties with a certain color, we can always reset it back to the default colors. Uh, if we right-click on the 3D representation, we can go to properties and change what those default colors will look like, whether they'll be based on a white background, black background, or whatever you need them to be, or you can customize them to be something else. Okay, one last thing, when it comes to changing properties, in every example I right-clicked and went to properties, another method is to simply right-click on the screen, go to display, and we can turn on the object properties window this directly links to the properties we were just looking at. So if I was to find that intersection, so there's the one that was white originally and we made it black, we can come in here and change the color. And we can grab other objects. If I brought back these sketches, I could come in and grab a certain one Let's go with this one over here, five, and we can change the colors to what we wanted as well. Okay, so those are just some of the techniques we have for dealing with object colors and making them display within Katia and the 3D experience. Thank you.